bitch. Who are you? I don't even know who you are. Who who are you? I'm just kidding. Hey guys, it's DK here again today, and welcome back to my channel. Anyway, um, since it's the new year, I decided it was the right time to bring out a new segment to my channel, and it's called Let's Talk About and. You give me subjects in the comments, whether it's sex, whether it's school, whether it's ow, whether it's parents, whether it's friends. You just give me subjects and I talk about them for four minutes, and then I give you some advice at the end of the video, which sounds cool. <laughs> it can literally be anything. I don't mind how weird it is, and I don't really necessarily have to be an expert in everything that I talk about. I'm just going to be talking about it, honestly. If you hear the wind, it's because Mother Nature's having a fit outside, I'm just saying. However, today I thought I would talk about something that I think a lot of you will be used to and will experience yourself. Let's talk about confidence today, because I feel like a lot of people go through this, and I looked at the I can't say the fucking word. I looked at the statistics, I can't say it. I looked at the statistics of people being unpleasant with themselves, or being unpleased with them, or like unconfident and self-conscious and it was 46% to 26% which is 46% girls and 26% boys which kind of relates to my first point about confidence we all think that girls are the ones that go through confidence issues and that's it like boys don't go through anything but in reality boys do go through a little bit even though it's a little bit and they don't go through periods they don't go through all the stress about children and stuff <laughs> They do go through a lot. These statistics do support both of them because even if it's just 26%, it's still 26% too many. I, th I personally, if this is my opinion on this, I think it, I find it more attractive when a guy cries in front of me because they're stepping themselves out of that stereotype and they're coming out and they are not coming out, but like they're expressing themselves to you, that, which they can't do in front of most guys because they don't have the bond that most girls have with each other. The first step. The first step to being confident with yourself is knowing that confidence is beauty and confidence does contribute to being beautiful. If you are going to wear that red dress that you really like, despite the fact that you're, you, you don't have really have the figure to hold it up, your boobs, your, your boobs look too small in it or your rolls hang out at the end, it doesn't matter. As long as you're confident in that outfit and you strut your ass off in that outfit, why does it matter? If you're confident and you feel comfortable in that outfit, then it won't matter. No one will look at it. Everyone will be like, oh, she's she looks nice in that dress because she's confident in it. It's the same with guys. If you, I don't really know any specific examples with this, but if you're wearing a dress and your curves don't fit it, you know, wear it. No one cares. <laughs> Being confident will make people be attracted to you. Not as in like romantically attracted, but like friendships and friends like people that are confident most of the people in my friendship group are confident it seems like they're confident and because they seem like they're confident I think they are and that is the whole beauty of confidence it's like an optical illusion Shh, I'm not confident but I'm gonna tell everyone I am everyone on the internet thinks I am confident and I'm not and it's that's just the harsh truth beyond these clothes I am sag and rolls and stretch marks and I don't care like that is just part of me <laughs> <laughs> They're my friends. Stepping in the mirror for most people is hard, including myself, but <clears throat> you need to kind of program your brain to think like you're looking at someone else, not yourself. Because when you look at yourself, you see your pimples, your blotches, your flaws, and you don't see that on other people. When you're unconfident and you're self-conscious of yourself, you always want to be somebody else. Like, oh, I wish I was her, she's got legs like a stallion or oh, I want to be him he's got I can't think of anything but a big dick is that bad I want to be him because he has really good hair it's good that you pick out your flaws but don't see them as a flaw see them as an area of improvement say if you're marking your work in class and you get a few questions wrong in that particular topic it doesn't mean it's a flaw it means it's an area for improvement and it's good that people are starting to get up 
and figure out this stuff in 2015. Get up, lose weight, go running. Dan Howell and Phil Lester are going running this year. Whether they're gonna keep trying is a different thing. But they're still gonna do it and they've still got off their asses instead of just scrolling on Tumblr and running their fingers down their keyboard, they're actually gonna get up and do something. At least they're trying to do something better and it's no point of just sitting there and saying, oh, I'm uncomfortable with myself, I don't like myself, and then they're not doing anything about it. Say if you say you're fat and then you pick up a strawberry cheesecake and you just eat all of it, that is not helping yourself. You need to help yourself. Being confident and confident with time Someone just doesn't wake up in the morning and say, yeah, I'm gonna be confident today. I'm feeling very confident with myself. It comes after time and energy and you have to work at it and work at it and work at it. You can't give up in the middle and then start again. It doesn't work like that. Just like anything in life, good things come to those who wait. Anyway, that's it for this Let's Talk About episode. Today's episode was about confidence. So if you have any ideas or anything in the comments, then you can put them down. I will see you next Wednesday. Actually, I just want to make a point about this. I may have to change my update days in winter to Saturdays because it's the only way I can get light and when I come home from school on Wednesdays, it is pitch black. But when I get a light, a lamp or a piece of equipment that I can use to light my videos up, then that would be cool. But at the minute, I'm using natural lighting, so I kind of have to work with it. I can't just go sun and drag it out like the moon in Bruce Almighty, like, I need you today. I can't just do that. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it. Comment down below what you want to see in the next episode of Let's Talk. And I will see you next week.